The Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, CTOC, and the Area 5 Police clamped down on what they say may have been an illegal cooking gas operation in South St. Catherine. The police say up to news time, the operators still have not provided any documentation authorizing their business. Some 300 branded cooking gas cylinders were seized at this location on Christian Penn Road in St. Catherine during a police operation Wednesday morning. Superintendent Hopton Nicholson is head of operations for the St. Catherine South Police Division. He says his team, along with CTOC officers, were investigating breaches of the Trademark Act and suspected larceny when they came upon the cooking gas plant. We tried to ascertain the trade license and also are the legal requirements for operating such an establishment. So far we have not been able to ascertain those documents. We tried to make contact with the operator and uh, we were informed that he's a bit delayed in coming to us. But we're making arrangements to meet with, with him or them for that sake. According to Superintendent Nicholson, a legitimate company operates at the location. However, investigations suggest that they are not licensed to distribute cooking gas. With no such proof forthcoming, Superintendent Nicholson says several cooking gas entities were contacted and representatives sent to the location to conduct checks on their branded cylinders. So far, the persons who were sent here have seized the LPG cylinders that are assigned to their companies as well as the seals. Um, so the investigation is ongoing and we will continue to conduct investigation of this type. We just want to appeal to persons to ensure that whatever establishment that you plan to venture into, that you do the right thing and uh, get the required documents and all, follow all the legal requirements in getting so. It's understood that this is not the first time that the police have clamped it down on this kind of operation in the area. So far, the police say no one has been arrested or charged in the matter. However, investigations are ongoing.